Pace car dives to Gilligan's Island. Here they come and there they go. We're racing in wine country. Joey Logano took all the suspense right out of it right off the bat with a great start didn't have to battle Tyler Reddick at all into turn one got himself some cl uh, clear space but see, see Blaney holding tight yeah. trying to stay the door to door with Reddick lost that battle so far now Elliot looking at his inside it's going to get under him turn four is a dive bomb corner an opportunity thought better of it Joey Logano leads the first lap and that's the first road course lap led by a Mustang this year. Yep. Oh, yeah. Got into the back of Daniel Suarez. Man, Clint, oh. it's like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Called that one. It's exactly what I'd have done. You don't get away with him too often. Block me once, okay. Yeah, I'd say the second block, he probably hits him a little harder. Oh, Denny Hamlin's blown up at the start-finish line. Inside, inside, inside. Well, you just don't see that very often. That's a big grenade. Makes me think maybe a... A miss shift or something. Over, you never here. know. Stay with you to the right. That's Pull obviously over. Over the whole thing. that just grenaded right about at the start of the adjacent drag strip. Yeah. Well, they better get used to that because there's going to be dirt on the track in turn two all day. Note that second place Reddick chose the second row behind Logano for this restart. Well, he's going to try to stay door to door with Blaney on the outside. He's going to do so. That'll set him up for three down here to be on the right side of it. But if he doesn't get him cleared right here, now he's in trouble. Now Blaney's got position on him getting down into four, but he's clear. Great job, Tyler Reddick, getting that back. Yeah, and I think a lot of that had to do with the speedy drive, Mike. I think that put him on the inside of the speedy drive it dry into one on the outside of it into turn two, and it paid off for him. Good choice. Whoa, three wide into the corner, into seven. How's that going to sort out? You're going to see that every restart today, and it'll ratchet up as the race progresses. You also have to move them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, the blocking story has just become a lot different through the years. It's just a part of the, the tools that you have in your tool bag uh, to be able to use. And, and if you don't block. Truex is off. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was... It kind of accordion, but Will Brown got in the back of him. Yep. And Whoa, big lockup for Ty Gibbs in the wall. Turn one and caution is out for Gibbs. Oh, the right front is destroyed. All right, back to green. So we're seeing on these restarts, there's no escape on that racetrack. They spin in front of you. That's been the case for a lot of people. Then blind corners are playing havoc on them. Saw it yesterday in the Xfinity race at the top of the hill. Saw that the here, and then again in eight. There's that blind exit 3A. Down the hill to four, and then the shoot. Chastain to the inside, three wide mid pack. Now double wide. McDowell moving up in the 34. He's up to sixth if he can complete this pass on Suarez and does. Tyler Ruddick wins stage one from Blaney, Larson, and Elliott. It was Final stage point is so close. Give it to Todd Gilliland over Hosevar. And here we come back to the flag. Blaney got a good run, but Reddick is going to yard him into turn three. Chase Elliott coming for second place. They got pushed wide. Yeah, and slipped up on the exit. He's. Yeah, and you see it cost Chase Elliott a spot right there to Kyle Larson. They kind of got tangled up and kind of banged wheels right there, and 
Chase had to check up for just a second, and Kyle Larson was in the gas going right by. Didn't take much at all. Ross Chastain picked up a spot in all that. Sora is right behind with Josevar and Dillon. And there's Gilliland who picked, oh, Austin Sindrick, last week's winner is off from 17th place. This is from Chris Busher. We're going to see what happened to Austin Sindrick here. Yeah. Oh, he almost turned over. Did you see him hit that hill out there in the dirt? Oh, my wow, God. that was close. That'll get your attention. Part that impresses me was when he was trying to pass Joey Logano, that how he can utilize his braking the way that he does in order to get out of the mirror or get the track position. Oh, no, Will Brown. He's off the course. It looks to he me is like parked he's... in the barrier there. Oh, and now he'll pull over. That's a shame and park off track. Oh, a lot of pressure from that second row. Well, Reddick Reddick waited until the very Whoa, end of and that trouble at the back. Everybody's scattered. You said it, Kevin. Wild. When that happens, it stacks them up back and they're accordions, and that's what you saw in the back of the field. And when that driver gets to that last restart line, the, the flag man throws the green, and Reddick waited so long they threw the green. And Blaney got a really good start on Reddick this time. And they trade a little paint. Or wrap, as it were. Still there. Now he's in trouble. He got the five to his inside. Blaney push, excuse me, Elliot pushing him. Fives to the inside of him in seven. That's actually turn 10, but he went off in turn eight. And every restart, he has made up ground. And out of turn 10, somebody took the long way around. Yeah, that's Bubba Wallace, I believe. John oh, Barry. Barry in trouble. Locks him up, catches Truex, Cam Waters, Austin Dillon, All Brad Keselowski, <laughs> Keep William going. Byron, and everybody else. Unbelievable. And they're ready to come to green once more. 21 green laps, 17 caution. Here we go again with Reddick and Larson from the front row. Well, Reddick launched from the beginning of the restart zone that time and cleared him. So less games, clear speaking, track. Speaking of clear, he launched good enough. The car behind him, Kyle Larson, got Blaney as well. And how about this one car, Ross Chastain, continuing to keep them elbows up. He's coming. These restarts, he has been so aggressive and it's paid off so far. Maybe a crossover here if he can. Setting up for a dive bomb, getting into seven. Blaney holds him off for third. Elliott fifth, Bowman sixth. And Jones, who was Involved in that incident. Oh, got, oh boy, there goes Cindric all the way to the tire wall and two more. Yellow Talk flag down. fever. William Byron got the free pass. Let's try it again. Chastain around the outside again. Flat tire and Austin Dillon. Chastain to third. Suarez and Bowman here for fifth. All right, Austin Dillon has gone to the garage and out of this race, joining Ty Gibbs and Denny Hamlin. The Toyota Cam for Truex giving these views as they come down to turn 10. Truex looking for the dive bomb, and Priest is not going to give him the bottom, so Truex gives him a tap. Will it be enough? Not quite. Here comes Chris Busher, the pride of Prosper, Texas, to take stage two from Ryan Priest, Martin Truex, Kyle Busch, and A.J. Allmendinger. Busher gets his second stage win of the season and his first ever on a road course. Truex and Priest for second. It's 
See Almendinger on the inside of Kyle Busch. He is in position. One heck of a road course racer. Doesn't matter what car he's in, what series he's in. And a lot of times he doesn't need the fastest car. He just needs to be somewhere close to the front. And he can he can figure out how to manage and manipulate all the restarts and braking zones and different things. A.J. Allmendinger has been so successful on these road courses through the years. Some of these guys that I thought were out of the race from Martin Truex and Kyle Busch and all the instances that they had at the beginning of the race almost put them in a better position with the way that this has cycled out. Stenhouse slipping up off of 11. He's got him stacked up behind him. Kozlowski under fire from Gilliland. And here's Josh. So Chris. now it comes down to the tires. Sorry, Go Mike, ahead. but it comes down to Lars and Cliff Daniels making the move. Getting through this traffic, Kevin, is very important. He did a good job of it earlier, that, as we noted, and it's going to be important utilizing these tires. But this is going to be a tough one because Larson's got to get past Almondinger and McDowell, two very experienced road racers, and they're going to be hard to pass. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but I think it's because of the tires. Great point, but I think it's because of his tires. Cliff Daniels gave him that opportunity. Yeah, he just has to lose as little time as possible through this traffic, and that's that's really going to be the key as to whether he can catch him or not is if he can get through this traffic. In every passing zone, he needs to take the opportunity to make the pass as soon as possible. When we went to break, he was eight seconds. That number had an eight on it. Now it's got a six. He's catching him. Going to give A.J. Allmendinger a little help there. Unfortunately, you got to Trade go. it right back. You got to get aggressive. Well, be that, careful here. Oh, that is not too aggressive. Not what he needed to have happen. I told you they'd be tough to pass. You're right. Fired right back. And they're going to continue. They didn't like the way he roughed them up. Nope. Third place, Kyle Larson to Kyle Busch, just about five car lengths apart. And the lead, Chris Busher. To Martin Truex Jr., a car length or two apart. Now the first three, Busher, Truex, and Bush, got tires at lap 68. Kyle Larson in fourth, his tires, he's now past Kyle Busch, his tires are 13 laps fresher. Can he catch Truex well, and Busher? If Truex is going to win this race, he's got to get by Chris Busher immediately because he is slowing his lap time down as well now. He's definitely better than Busher, but he needs to get by him immediately because Kyle Larson is coming. Fastest car on track is Chase Elliott right now. Yeah, now they're giving up. They're giving up big chunks that of time one to don't Larson. Matter. This one right here, that's the lap time you're looking at. You can see him in the rearview mirror, Truex. He knows the pressure's on, and he's trying to get around this leader to 17, Chris Busher. 13 lap pressure tires. That yep. means something. McDowell going for fourth on the inside at seven as uh, they close. They exit side by side. He and Kyle Busch, and Busch holds them off for now. And that's exactly what he's doing, but he's in front of is there. Larson on the outside. Side by side for the lead. Trading paint. It's not over yet. He's still on the inside. He's going to have to get, what do you call it, dirty right here. He's going to have to push him up. And you can see them both slipping and sliding around. Busher's tires are just worn Issue out. Quarter, quarter, clear, clear. Truex get... to the lead. Larson to second. But it's not over. It's far from over. Nine to go. Larson at a oh. significant advantage on Same tires. Same thing. He missed the, he yeah, missed the corner. And look. He missed the... Everything that you've been talking about, Clint, just don't make a mistake. Keep that car on line. They both did. In which corners? Yeah. Four and ten. He took advantage of nice both corners. Coming back eight to go now. Kyle Larson to the lead. He's had the advantage of these three diving into the corners. Hasn't quite had the drive off. I'm not going to put that on Busher or Truex, though. There is a huge disadvantage they have over those tires of Larson. I'm going to because you know that you, you, you know, you just got to put the car in the right spot and they just missed. Yeah, and those guys are on the same tires. I, I just think Busher's car is just falling off so bad. So that is Ryan Blaney trying to take advantage of Tyler Reddick here as they try to get their way back up through the field. 
They are ninth and tenth. Gretik's going to let him have that position. Not fighting for it. Probably smart. Well, maybe we'll find we'll find out the answer to true. Oh, around goes Austin Sindrick. Had another twirl there. Up at seven. Still green. He was by himself. Grabs a gear, gets going, and we stay green. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. And Kyle Larson drove through the field and back to the front after that final pit stop at lap 81. Keep an eye on Martin Truex. He's give up another second there. I don't know what's going on there, if he's getting tight on fuel or what, but I think he's uh, given up on the race for the lead. Now we're just managing second place. Michael McDowell two and a half behind Truex. Jamie. Well Truex says crew chief James Small right when they came across the finish line said hit that fuel switch now. So it's certainly a concern. Well. Oh oh Chastain and Bush got together. Oh my god. Imagine that for fifth. He's going to fall all the way back to at least 11th. The hits just keep coming for Kyle Busch and everybody on that eight car. That's going to be unfortunate. Had a top five going. That's a tough one. Last lap. That is a tough one. Last corner for Elk Grove, California's Kyle Larson. The 31 year old is going to power off turn 11. Take this little kink here to the checkered flag. And Kyle Larson scores his 26th career win. Third of the season. Yeah, Hendrick Motorsports, Chevrolet. Oh, hold on, Truex is out of gas. Way to execute. Way to be there all day. Good job. Truex is out of gas, guys. He didn't make it back around. McDowell's going to be second. Busher, he's still not around. He's right there at the start finish line, 100 yards before it, out of gas. He's not going to finish. Wow. I, I thought something point. happened, and then when Jamie said that they well, told him with the new rules and that flipped the switch, that doesn't get you a lap like it used to. Caution flag now waves, and he is uh, on the starter motor trying to crank it across, I believe. Well, it gets worse for Kyle Busch. He's run out of gas and just now crossed the finish line. He fell all the way back to 17th place. Heartbreak for Martin Truex Jr. Did such a great job. He's going to finish second, didn't make it around. Kyle Busch as well. McDowell, fantastic race. Chris Busher, another good run. This race has had it all. Oh, my goodness. I'm exhausted. I am, too. And kind of like Ryan Blaney last week, running out of gas with one to go and ending up the last car on the lead lap. Here is Truex trying to nurse it across. We mentioned last week the race where uh, Rick Mast and Harry Ant got, got help, help on you. the last lap at Talladega. You're not allowed to have another driver push you or aid you on the final lap of the race. He's running the starter to get it across yep. the finish line. He's got it in gear and running the starter. Big cheer from the crowd at start finish as Martin Truex coaxes, wills that car to the start finish line. Well, Kyle Larson's done a great job all season. We, we saw everything that happened in Indy, got his waiver back in victory lane. Everything is right with Kyle Larson. We saw him beat himself up after Indy, some of the things that happened, but uh, this is one really good race team with a really good driver. And a really good skipper, that crew chief, Cliff Daniels. Eighth Sonoma win for Hendrick Motorsports. Most of all teams, three different drivers account for those eight wins. And it's Larson's 20th victory since joining Hendrick Motorsports in 2021. Third among all drivers to win for that team behind Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports at NBC YouTube channel.